Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today I am near the location where James McLaughlin and Peter O'Reilly first discovered gold here in Virginia City, Nevada. As I was out there looking around and <laughs> I had noticed that there is all kinds of ore specimens in this entire area. And to be honest with you, of all the places that I've been through throughout all these years, uh, this is the best ore that I've seen that's just laying around. And so what we're going to do, we're going to gather up um, of several pounds and we're going to take it back to my stagecoach mill and we'll, we'll work it and we'll see what type of precious metal we get out of it. We are here at the Stagecoach Mill, and let's take a look at the ore that we had brought back from the Comstock load. Here is some of the ore that we had brought home from the Comstock load. What excites me about this ore is that it comes near the claim of Peter O'Reilly and Patrick McLaughlin. I do want to make a mention that some historians said uh, Patrick McLaughlin's name is James McLaughlin. I'm kind of confused at that. But anyhow, uh, it also comes from Henry Comstock's claim because he's the one that finagled his way into part ownership of these guys' claim. So anyway, uh, this ore comes from that place and I'm excited to find out what's in it. Our ore weighs 41 pounds. We have all 40 pounds inside our furnace cooking. Let's get it up to temperature. We have our ore at 1700 degrees, almost 1800 degrees. We're going to let it cook now for the next 30 minutes and then we'll shut the flames off and let it cool down. Here is what our material looks like, just running it through the rock crusher with a 3 16th inch screen. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, run it through the rock crusher again, and it'll bring it down to this size here. And then we'll run it through the sluice box. And this is what our material looks like after running it through a second time. And let's go ahead and sluice it out and see what type of concentrate we get. I want to make a mention here that this is the second time I am running the material through the Dream Mat sluice box. I ran it dry the first time and now it's wet. And the reason why I'm running the material through it twice is because uh, w there's so much sulfides in the material that running it through the sluice once doesn't catch all the sulfides and so I'm catching all the sulfides on the second time around and when I get a moment I'm going to 
Uh, double the size of the sluice box is three feet long right now. I'm going to make it six feet long with different matting after the dream mat. And so this is where we're at right now. And let's get to sluicing. Here is the concentrate that we got out of our first run with the sluice box and with our material. And in that pan there is what we got through the second run and I panned everything out. And so we did lose that much and I'm uh, kind of sure that I lost a little more, but I'm going to upgrade my sluice box because that definitely needs to happen. Uh, right now we are working underneath the lights. The sun is going down and we want to get this project done. We're not going to uh, smelt it today because I think if I get enough material and if it looks good, I have an acid process that I've been uh, working on and we'll do that. And let's get to panning this out. I don't think you're going to be able to see the micro gold that's in there because <laughs> I can barely see it at this moment um, without, you know, uh, real sunlight. It's just very difficult. But there is some micro gold in here. And to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure how much is in there. But we're going to uh, put this with the rest of our concentrate and we are going to go ahead and roast this and finish this project for this evening let's get to it have our roasting up to temperature about 1200 degrees and we're going to let it roast until it stops smoking and then we'll let it cool down here is our roasted concentrate uh, there are a lot of sulfides in here and I couldn't get all the material out because I would lose a lot of the sulfides. But we had to turn the sulfides into oxides. So whether we smelt it or whether we use our acid uh, process, we needed to roast this to open up the sulfides so that we could get the precious metals out of it. Well, this wraps up today's episode on getting our concentrate out of our or from the Comstock load near where Henry Comstock uh, <laughs> finagled his way into owning part of a claim. And so I'm pretty excited about this and we're going to wait until next week if the weather holds out. And we're going to use this acid process that I've been working on and we'll see if we can extract the gold out of this concentrate using that process. So join us next week for that episode. And I am so thankful that you're here today and if you like this episode, smash that like button, share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We love to have you in the family. We're so thankful that you're here. We deeply appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one.